Greetings, family. I'm Christy here in nature. I obviously, I hope everybody's well. Why would I hope anything else for you guys? What I want for myself is what I want for everyone else, right? So I hope everybody's well, and I hope you guys are getting a chance to get out in nature. Okay, beautiful day today. Today is such a gorgeous day. It's the weather is just perfect. Um, so yeah, especially if you're in the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area, I urge you to get outside. It is absolutely gorgeous today. So beautiful. Today, I wanted to talk about trust. What is trust, right? How many of us actually have learned how to trust or have strengthened our trust muscles? How many of us, right? Trust is, so when I think of trust, I think like um, surrendering or being vulnerable to, right? To be trusting is to be vulnerable to something. It's to let yourself be opened up to something. So when you trust, you open yourself up to that person that you're trusting. So that means you're vulnerable. That means the person can hurt you if that was their desire easily because your guard is down. I guess, you know, we spoke about it. Religion is, is awesome. It's a fun, it's a, it's a great way to be in a community and it's a great way to start your journey to knowing yourself. Right, But I always say, I think that religion kind of limits your capacity and ability to connect with your higher self and, and your, our creator because religion often requires you to go through somebody to get to somebody else to get to somebody else, right? It also puts you in conformity and rules and, and not every person it should be doing the same thing. We are not created with free will in order for us to be the same and do the same thing. So it's counterintuitive, at least to me. So I don't think that our creator wanted us to conform. We, we need to do what feels good for us. And at the same time, doesn't hurt anybody else, if that makes sense. Anyway, trust. In religion, you're supposed to give up your trust, I would think, in, I don't know, Allah, God, Jesus, um, Muhammad, uh, I don't know all of the religious stuff, but those, um, you know, elevated beings within religion, right? You're supposed to trust in them, I think. You know, when you go to church, they say trust Jesus, I think, and trust in and you have to eat the flesh in the wafer and drink the blood with the wine. It's just cannibalistic to me, but I don't, maybe I'm off. But anyway, I, we're not trust. So when you're religious, you're supposed to believe in your religion. I found during the COVID time, I was so surprised that more religions didn't rely on their faith, their faith in their creator or their God to keep them safe, safe, um, you know, keep them from being ill, right? I'm surprised, right? Um, where was the trust? Where was the trust in your creator in that you will be not, you wouldn't succumb to this novel virus that was taking over the planet? I hate talking about that because it just, my heart rate starts to increase and I get angry when I think about that time. But we're not talking about that right now. It's trust. Ooh. Family, I will say this. When you trust, you absolutely give way to, right? So I've been working, I'm gonna use myself as an example. I've been really working hard since 2020 to give way to the will of our creator. Look at this beautiful butterfly. This butterfly has been chilling with me since I've been here. 
flying here, going under the table, and here we see it again. I, oh, and that's not a different one. But yeah, maybe it's my grandma. Who knows, right, family? Anyway, we were supposed to, what I do, I was sorry, I was, I was going to me as an example. So in 2020, I really wanted to learn how to listen to that inner voice, which is our creator, at least in my, from my perspective. So I have been working on it. And the more you work on something, the more comfortable you are with it. And it comes with more, not as much effort or, or with more ease anyway. What I say is I control what I can control and the rest of it, I let it go and I give it to God. That's how I live my life. So I control anything I can control. So whatever challenge or situation I find myself in, I kind of like ransack my brain about how can I, what can I do to help improve this or get me out of this? And oftentimes there's nothing, <laughs> not much, but I always find something right what whatever i can control i control so i might identify something that i could do and i just do that and if when, and when there's nothing else to do i just kind of chill then i have to just leave it to our creator because we have to know that our creator wants nothing but the best for us so so we might have a plan and and think that we want this and and we'll get there that way which is great and that's what we're supposed to do come up with our own plan but when life shows or puts roadblocks in our way or or, or deviates us from that path the key is instead of resisting that diversion is to go with it right sometimes it's not easy to go with it sometimes it's challenging but again you go back to controlling what you can control let's give an example oh my gosh there's so many in my life oh let's use this in february february in november of 2021 the college of nurses of ontario began an investigation into my practice of nursing We are in May of 2024, and that investigation has not yet resolved. I've been okay, very candid that since February of 2022, my ability to be, practice nursing has been impaired. So I haven't been able to because of this process. What can I do? <laughs> what I've done was I've controlled within the situation what I could control. So I controlled how I handled defending these allegations. I controlled who I had representing me. I could control those type of things, but what I couldn't control is the length of time that it has taken out of my life to be dealing with this thing, right? So I've con controlled, I've controlled everything within that situation that I possibly could. The rest of it, I just have to let it go and leave it to God. I can't. What I tell myself is that God has a plan that's for my greater good. Whatever happening, at the end result will be for my greater good. I have two choices. I can resist what's happening and try to get back to my original plan and fight and, or I can be mad or sad about it or I can do and be in an energetic state that is not going to serve me, vibrating low or I can choose to say, you know what? It is what it is. Let me do this, that, and the other and let the rest go and let the chips fall where they may. And I promise you, our creator 
has nothing but the best in store for you. And your job is to learn how to listen to that voice in order for the journey to be manageable, tolerable. And you can actually thrive on this planet called Earth, which apparently in the cosmos is like, you went there? Why would you do that? That's how bad this planet is. <laughs> No, no offense because it's absolutely gorgeous look at it it's actually heaven this is heaven on earth but the powers that be that run this planet have made it hell anyway family i think we've chatted enough thank you for taking the time to listen to this message please get yourself out in nature i love and i value each and every one of you okay family one love